Welcome my beautiful friends. Welcome to Harry's Healing Center. Today we're going to talk about prosperity, true prosperity and clearing your path to reaching this state in your life. I also wanted to briefly mention to you that we are offering some unique healings with um, very limited spaces available, but we want to give back to the collective. Those of you who live in the Southern Hemisphere, you are approaching Marbon, the celebration of winter coming in. It's a celebration of letting go, of releasing things from you, a celebration of thanksgiving. And that is also something that is important to lay the foundations for the rest of the year and the, the particularly the season to come. And we have included healings for Marbon as well as healings for Ostara. You'll be celebrating the birth of spring, which is growth, rebirth, and you want to bring in new energy. If you want to know a little bit more about this subject, there is a podcast that my daughter and I did on her channel, which I will list below and it will explain a little bit more about that. But for now, let's go into your choices of true prosperity. Here we go. Group number one, we want to find out anything and everything that spirit is willing to show us in regards to finding your true prosperity. And then we will go into some healing for it. Let's start. Let's see and find out a little bit about you. Okay, this card came in upside down. It's all about self-love. So that's the first thing here. So your true prosperity is actually connected to the part of you that is about self-love. If we don't honor ourselves, if we don't look after ourselves, let's say we frantically run around and try to um, get everything done for um, achieving prosperity or even looking after other people, but we neglect ourselves, true prosperity will never find you. Because that's the first thing we need to realize that universal energy is all about opening up blockages where we um, restrict ourselves. And this blockage with you is that you don't care for yourself as much as you perhaps care for other people or even the pursuit of wealth. Let's learn a little bit more. Let's see where this is leading us here. The other thing that is coming out, so your true prosperity is, we, we already know it's dependent on self-love. The other one is to open up your psychic abilities a lot more. There needs to be a lot more development of the true understanding, perhaps of universal structures when it comes to true prosperity. We want to find out more about what they mean by that, the development of psychic abilities. Upside down, Okay, there's something not right within your home. This is affecting you greatly because if the structure at home is not right, then true prosperity cannot open up. I have personally seen this many times with myself and clients 
where when the structure at home is chaotic, when a person brings a certain type of energy into the home that's not good, we are being hindered to have perhaps self-love, self-expression, and that prevents true prosperity. This is affecting you, group number one, as well. What else is there for you? This card, once again, upside down. But there are new days coming, but some of you, perhaps you can't see that these new days can bring in better energy here for you. What they're talking about is that you might be restricting yourself as to what you can, I mean, I'm falling off my chair. Yeah, maybe you're falling down to as to what you can expect to happen in the future, what you can make happen in the future. We sometimes believe we are limited to a certain ability. But if we step out of our comfort zone, which is also can also be an expression of self-love, to step out of that comfort zone to to appreciate who we are, to bring something to the table that we carry within but might be too afraid to actually put out there. And that is you. Maybe the restriction here at home is very difficult for you to do that. So home life needs to be looked at. But let's work on that. Let's see what other things Spirit will guide you with here. One more card upside down. And that is truth. Okay, what does that mean? Truth for you. Something needs to be admitted. Something, now I can see an image of somebody speaking. Somebody needs to speak their truth here. And that person is you. You need to communicate how you perhaps truly feel. What truth needs to come out depends on you. But that's very important here. Spirit has been apparently been telling you this, to be true to yourself, to have self-love, to speak your truth, particularly when it comes to your home structure here. This could also translate for some of you into your workplace here. Let's find out, we're switching the cards now, let's find out a bit more about what you can do to reach true prosperity. What can group number one do? The foundation, we're coming back to homeland. We're coming back to a foundation here. What does that mean to you? Homeland, is it your house? Is it your home? Or is it literally the country you live in? Do you need to move? Do you need to clear something around you? That comes back to you because I can tap into a certain energy here, but I will not be able to tell you everything about your personal situation un unless I can talk to you directly. So this is a foundation that needs to be worked on in order to reach prosperity. Yeah, look where you are. This is the witch's hat, but I feel like your power is a little bit dimmed here. So where you are, it's not good energy for you to thrive. And that needs to be altered in order for true prosperity to become part of your life. There's a rebirth. Maybe you're very connected to this festival. And for you, it is going to happen, this rebirth. This rebirth at one stage in your life will happen. You will perhaps move. You will perhaps um, change your home structure. But as to when this happens, that is the key because you could have this happening later in life, but perhaps altering structures now can help you do that faster. So that's what this reading is all about. And obviously the healing that we are going to look into will guide you along your path here. These healings are powerful. Don't underestimate them because when you truly connect to their energy, 
you will shift things within yourself and be able to move on further with your prosperity in this case everything about home homecoming you need to be home this is a huge thing for you home what does that actually mean we're going to switch the cards again here let's see this card didn't want to come up let's see what that card is truth truth and integrity so there's something hidden here someone is not speaking their truth there are hidden things that stop you let's find out this is quite unique quite intriguing too you have been manifesting but it's not been reaching um the soil this is what it says to me because i read cards a bit different but when i see this angel sprinkle some manifestations here towards you it feels like they're not reaching you they're not reaching the soil and the seeds can't sprout they basically get destroyed in the in-between and that comes back to you that in-between you might be in between um stagnancy and success but the action required to reach success might be too much for you at this time to um cope with but in time you will and keeping in mind that there is action required to reach your true potential this is something you perhaps can work on. You can start by using energy. If nothing else is um, available to you at the moment, energy work is always there to unblock things. And with group number one, this is all about finding out truth, connecting to your courage, self-love, and prosperity ahead let's see if there are any more cards yes we're going, going to go back to these ones here a little bit more information here okay and they're saying there's not just going to be one possibility but there's unlimited possibilities coming towards you these unlimited possibilities, how can they come in, spirit? How can this happen, these unlimited possibilities? Okay. All right. This is also upside down because you have not connected perhaps to your inner journey. The inner journey is the most important part in finding your path. That means you've got to find out what you want in life, how to connect to that. And is that what you want, actually what your soul wants? We have an image in mind and this world conditions us to a certain way of success. If you haven't reached this particular way, then in, this, in society's eyes, even maybe your your parents eyes your friends eyes you been looked at as not being prosperous but your soul might feel differently about that you might be somebody who really wants to escape the hustle and bustle of life and city environments you might want to live out in the country you want to grow your own veggies and you want to live fairly simply and a lot of people would think oh well you know you haven't achieved anything you've run away from life you know you could do so much better but to you true prosperity might be in that country setting for others it might be very different but you got to follow your soul's direction and not be misled by what this world claims your true prosperity should look like there is um, a retreat happening for some of you some of you wanting to go to a retreat this might be only a small group of people here but this retreat is an important part of your future some of you will go to this retreat and it'll be a life-changing experience if this is you and this part of you connects with your soul and you realize that hang on i always wanted to go to a retreat make that part of your journey don't hold back organize your finances even so that in the future 
you can go to this retreat. Some of you may have just come from a retreat and congratulations, that was part of your journey of enlightenment and also to open up a field of true prosperity. Be very careful what you take on. Discernment is coming in. Be very careful who you listen to and what becomes part of your desires here in this life. Because your desires, once again, come out as different to what everybody else tells you you need to achieve. So be aware these desires here are the key to your prosperity. Let's switch the cards again. Let's go back to these ones. Let's see what else is coming out for group number one. There is some, um, this card's all about grounding, but when I touch the card, it's all about um, you finding a piece of land that harmonizes with you. So there's homecoming and a new piece of land that brings you prosperity coming in as well. Maybe you're buying a new uh, block of land here somewhere where you want to build on. Maybe you're looking for that piece of land where you can escape to maybe and when I say escape it's escaping from the negative aspects of life and finding your true prosperity however that fits into your life here. I feel that there are a lot more people that are like you and maybe in the future you will connect with more people that will come to you or maybe be part of your spiritual family. Maybe this land that I saw is perhaps you're building up a retreat there for others to go to. There's something special about your true prosperity and it's certainly not connected to the normal way of thinking about prosperity, perhaps money, wealth. This is also related to your spiritual connection to universal energy, to growing within you, having that inner journey. And once you discover the inner journey, you will then help others perhaps to discover theirs. This is something that is in in your path that will actually be part of true prosperity for you. But set the intention first. Be very clear where you want to go with this. Let's find out a little bit more about the intention here. I'm interested in that intention. Oh, okay. You have a responsibility towards the intention. That's another good point here because we all carry certain responsibilities when we want to achieve things. This responsibility can be relating to anything at all in your life. We've sort of looked at the spiritual aspect of things. So if you want to go into a, let's say, build up a resort and you need to make sure that your energy field is clear, you have that self-love, you've removed that bad home environment and you created something new around you with a healed state, you can achieve a lot not just for yourself, but for helping others as well. But not all of us are looking for a spiritual path in our life. This can translate to any path that you are following. If you want to finish your studies and then go into a certain field of work, well, you have a responsibility to do your studies, to attend lessons, to do your homework, to study, to become good at whatever area, whatever field you want to go into. This is part of our journey. And if we neglect those things, then our prosperity that lies ahead of us will also not be coming in as quickly or be as profound as it could be. Now, let's see if there are any more cards. No. 
So what we're going to do next is I want to talk to you about a symbol. The symbol for you today is Saihi Ki. This symbol is connected to your emotions. So emotions must be affected. And for you to be releasing these emotions that are deeply hidden within your heart chakra, because that's what I'm seeing, your heart chakra is standing out, this symbol will help you and guide you. Work with this symbol, attune your energy to this symbol, place it within your heart chakra along with a green ray of light. Feel the vibrations of the symbol. The more you can connect with the symbol and feeling the energy of it, the better it will be. You can use this symbol daily. Ask your guides to attune you to this particular Reiki symbol. This symbol is powerful and you can do some research on it and connect to the element of the symbol that is of concern to you. The more specific we sometimes are, the better the healing will be. Don't be afraid to use those symbols regularly because the energy can alter your physical health as well as obviously your energetic health and connections here and in harmony with our reading open portals of prosperity that have been dormant within you. This is when we want to now tap into a past life or a parallel existence to see what has happened to you there and in meditation you can release that from you. The past life, like I always say to you, will not be your exact past life, but the emotional connection will be. Everyone in group number one will be affected by this and it's representing a blockage. Work with this, release this, and see the changes that are possible in your life. Take any new possibilities that will surface after you have done this healing. Let's see why, where this life leads us. Please remember protection, connection, grounding and cleansing need to be part of our ritual when you heal yourself. Let's travel. Let's see. There's a pathway and there's a door. Some of you are very connected to Christ energy, beautiful energy. But part of Christ energy is also a part within you that's suffering. I can see a lot of pain and hurt and suffering. So this part of you, that's what we want to disconnect because if you are linked to the energy of suffering and feeling that you are not worthy, that suffering is just part of you, that is holding you back from prosperity. This has come out even before we tapped into this life. Now let's go. Let's open the door. The seventh key will open this door. Let's check out, see what is behind there. There is so much um, prosperity. There is um, wealth, there are opportunities, there are so many things waiting for you here, but there is this feeling of, I can't do it. I can't do it. Or what if this happens to me again? It feels like that you guys have been damaged. Some of you might have had in this life nervous breakdowns because I see so much damage here and that you feel very restricted now. Before this damage happened to you, you were you were ready to go. You were like, I can conquer the world. I can go. And then some terrible thing happened. This is where it's all different for you. And I don't see specifics, but I feel um, that a lot of you, your nervous system has been damaged. And that's why um, you can't take opportunities easily because you're so afraid that you will go downhill again. 
This is where we need to alter the structure here. I want you to see yourself in front of those opportunities. Now, each and every one of you will have trauma that is holding you back. I want you to tap into your own personal trauma. I want you to, you don't have to relive the trauma, but I want you to carry yourself back to that time frame, that period of time. You're literally bringing it with you into this past or parallel existence here to release it because it's easier doing it this way. And then create a new structure around you. If there was abuse, see that the abuser was never in your life, that you replace the abuser with somebody who is a, an empath, a beautiful person that is uh, looking after you, nurturing you, helping you grow your self-respect and your self-love. Releasing the old then will allow you to open your field up for the opportunities. So you didn't have this trauma. You didn't have a nervous breakdown. You didn't have any other damage that you experienced in this life. You now see yourself in your, your true light. What the possibilities could be without the trauma because they can still be there for you. Then you take one of those opportunities, grab it, open it up, see yourself thriving and bring in prosperity for yourself as well as the people around you and share it with others. There is an important aspect of life that we sometimes neglect because we're very unaware of it. When the universe gives us prosperity, let's return some of that prosperity to others, to bring light to them, to bring more good karma to ourselves as well. When you're finished, please return to the door, shut the door behind you, Thank your guides for this healing here. All light beings that have worked with you, that you've called in at the beginning of this healing, thank them from the deepest part of your heart. See a golden ray of light washing over that life and breathe it in. Then you return, you release your guides from your energy here, from this healing and you return to yourself. You can bring in more light. You can even bring in fresh guides for you to direct you to the next step to help you throughout the day and throughout the week. But allow this healing now to make the necessary changes. Healings aren't always immediate. They may take time, days, weeks, months, months, sometimes even years. But what you have done is powerful stuff here, guys. This is not something that you should take lightly because it is energy work, shifting things. And sometimes we don't even realize what we have done when a situation changes in our life. We think, oh, wow, well, that was good. But we don't come back and we think, oh, well, I healed myself. Of course, this would have happened. Keep that in mind because the more grateful you are, the better the connection to your guides, the better the results of those healings that you do. I wish you all the best and send you lots of love from Australia. Bye. Welcome group number two, connecting to the path of true prosperity and clearing anything standing in your way. Let's find out what that is. Okay, you, um, okay, you start off and I always find it difficult to tell you this when there is a, such a heavy start, but I'm going to talk to you about somebody that you've connected with. This person here is a healer. They, they are, um, they're not good. 
this healer, this particular person is not good because you have disclose something to the healer you have told this healer about your light about problems connecting to your light and the healer unfortunately with you has taken advantage of you your energy field so that means that and this might be hard to understand particularly when you're new to readings and particularly when you're new to energy work and understanding how everything works here energetically because what i'm seeing is that this particular healer has taken your prosperity the layer of prosperity that was within your energy field they've claimed this for themselves and you have not been able to open your energy field up to that prosperity that maybe you have built up layers of this over many lifetimes and you wanted to in this lifetime really tap into it but because of the healer that you connected with who is not good they have taken this away from you some of you might not have connected to a healer in this life but from past lives i guarantee that all of you group number two have been affected by this negative environment by perhaps using black magic against you so that um, they pretended to heal you and in one way you may have had benefits but in a another way they have taken things from you be very careful when you connect to certain energies you may be convinced that somebody is good and they may even be using terms that show you that okay this this seems good but then there will be a slight turn they will be connecting to more demonic energies and you will know that this isn't quite right it doesn't make sense to you but you still believe them and you think well i'll do their rituals i do what they tell me to because i feel it will open up something for me and trust me maybe something will be opened up for you but there will be consequences for you this group you really needed to find this reading because we haven't found much out about you yet but this issue that is facing you we want to release that my guides and i will help you later in this reading to release yourself from this negative effect from this healer here let's find out let's switch the cards here and find out a little bit more in regards to this situation burdened yes so you've been burdened by this perhaps the number 10 stands out to me perhaps for um, 10 lifetimes issues that have come into your life that don't need to be there that restrict the flow of prosperity let's learn a little bit more of what you can do okay in time you will heal that you've actually already done some healing on that and they're saying look it's all good in time this will be healed and you will find your true prosperity again divine timing <laughs> oh my goodness we don't often want to hear divine timing it seems to be that maybe there's a lesson associated with this maybe you needed to understand not to trust everybody that there are energies uh, that we sometimes perceive as being good but we need to look deeper we need to follow our intuition and if something doesn't feel right then it, it isn't it isn't right at all because each healer has a big responsibility on this planet to do the best for their client and i have unfortunately witnessed once a young lady came to me she connected to a healer for about four years and she was physically dying at this stage the healer had drained her 
of all her spiritual abilities. He took um, many layers of light from her and placed it into his own energy field. This poor girl was dying. As I was looking at her, I said to her, you need to leave this healer. He's doing this to you. And she said, yeah, the, I can feel negative energy. But she said, I don't want to disconnect because she had formed a weird bond. This is not something that um, is sometimes easy to let go of, but you have to force yourself here. This is where we have to be stricter with ourselves. When we notice this, when we see that there are negative aspects involved, please leave. Go and restore that energy field. And this is partly of what has happened to you in your lifetime associated here with lessons. So let's dig a bit deeper here. Some of you would be very angry as well. Maybe you've known about this. Maybe some of you have experienced this, have let go of this healer, been very angry that this has happened. And now you decided to leave spirituality altogether, to not believe in the light that is out there. I tell you, there are many beautiful healers and helpers there for you. But unfortunately, you have found somebody at some stage in your existence who has done this to you. And don't give up on your spiritual journey. Let that healer be, understand, learn from that. Learn that you need to examine each person that you go to, to be able to trust their energy. This is an important step forwards, an important understanding here. We're switching the cards that will help you to find your path to true prosperity. A disconnection from this healer is needed. Yes. Something that needs, this is about containment, but I feel that you need to set up a ritual for yourself to contain this energy that this healer has placed within you to burn it away. This ritual can be a simple act of, if you know the name of this healer or the person that you believe is responsible for this, writing this name on a piece of paper and burning it. You can set up bigger rituals here. You can use a cauldron and you can even use two candles, one representing you, one representing the other person and put a string in between the both of them, light them and set the intention of breaking the cord connection between you and the healer. This is a very, very powerful act of disconnecting. Whatever you feel drawn to, please perform some kind of ritual. If you're familiar with this person, if you don't know them and you're thinking, well, I'm at the wrong reading, I bet you you're not at the wrong reading. It's just a matter of then forming a perhaps an image or understanding about this person that was there from past lives representing that person or the candle represents that person and their energy and you are the other candle do the same thing you are affected by this and prosperity will change if you follow this ritual and of course listen to the meditation at the end of this reading and release that from yourself, this energy, because I am so sure that the meditation will show us a path that you that links you and this person. This person is also um, definitely a representation of somebody in your current life, somebody who's blocking you, maybe a feminine energy here. And do keep in mind, I read cards differently. This is all about the feminine. This is goddesses. And um, what I feel when I connect with this card is that this particular feminine energy has been part of your life. 
she has blocked you on many levels to reach prosperity or maybe she's still trying to do that so um, once again the alchemist is coming out it's rituals to me this is use your powers maybe you work with herbs and you create some kind of bags of herbs and that you can place around you for a while to get rid of that energy this is important it's important for you to understand and to release so that prosperity can set in for some of you they're saying this is awakening spiritual awakening and understanding as to why you are not moving forwards why prosperity has never really hit your energy and this is something that um, just by understanding this this realization that we then can work with it once we know the reason behind something that's when we can do something about it it's just if we don't understand where our blockages are that it becomes extremely difficult to release them from us look spring is coming out spring is important and if you're listening to this as well and you are in the northern hemisphere where ostara is upon you in um at, at this time of doing the reading we're in march and ostara is around the middle of march here it's it's sort of around um 19 20 21 and 22 that's when ostara gets celebrated that's when springtime comes that's when new energy comes in if you are um, if you listen to the beginning of this video you might have heard me mention that we have opened up healings these healings we have lowered the price as much as we possibly could to help the collective this group here not that you have to do this i don't always want to say that you have to do these healings but you would benefit greatly if you're finding this video around the springtime to connect and heal from things that have affected you in the past to bring in new energy look at that spring is coming out here and it's about prosperity connection to it so maybe for some of you this will be in springtime that things will change when you find this video springtime might be your time to open up this prosperity here freedom there's a thing of um, freedom for your soul freedom in your energy because this to me this sign or this card freedom shows me a lot of energy around you i know these are angels in the cart but i feel when i touch this cart that you are being bombarded by energy that doesn't need to be there doing some clearing meditations would be very helpful for your for your energy field for your soul for your even your physical body to be healthy and to open opportunities up for prosperity because i just see you being locked in by this energy and even down the bottom here there's an angel grabbing your foot here but i don't feel that these are angels for you i feel these are negative connections that you don't need maybe you have a lot of people that demand your energy so always protect your energy connect to light love and truth only ground your energy and perform rituals of cleansing that is going to open up fields of prosperity for you yes you have the power to manifest and this will happen if you clear your field because i see this angel and there is there's no energy around her there are no destructive forces and she can manifest quite easily and that's that's been an issue with you where these forces not necessarily even um, entity related 
but they bombard you so much that you can't breathe. Your energy field is just so flooded with whatever this is in your life that you can't breathe. And how can you manifest with that type of energy around you? Let's learn a little bit more. We're switching the cards again here. Let's find out a little bit more about this group. Group number two. Okay, there is in this is from a past life as well, because I see a very destructive force in your past life. This is male energy here and this male, maybe for some of you, this is also this life, but this male is very destructive. So we've seen two forces that have come out here, this feminine energy for some, but there's a masculine energy and I'm telling you, this masculine energy has been in your past lives here a lot. So releasing that energy here from you is important. We'll see what our past life brings out because we know you have a very negative connection to um, a darker healer here that you've connected with. But there's also feminine and ne masculine negative energies that are preventing you from having true prosperity. The possibilities around you are literally unlimited, but they're not reaching you. And even what you have started to produce, it just doesn't seem to flourish. This card to me says restrictions in a lot of areas here, restrictions from all angles and the tree itself doesn't look very happy. The leaves are on the outside of that tree saying that, yes, there is prosperity, but the flowers on this tree here, they're, they don't look healthy. They're just falling off. Maybe they are, I assume they're flowers. Yes, they do look like flowers, but to me, they're just falling off and they're not really giving you much in return. Maybe you're giving and giving and giving and there's not much of um, return as far as prosperity is concerned. But like we said before, you will free yourself from this. There are new beginnings. This card is talking about new beginnings here for you. And knowing that there are new beginnings is very good for you to understand because these new beginnings, if we don't have hope for new beginnings, then life's outlook is very bleak and you basically feel like you want to give up. Maybe some of you feel like that, but don't worry. There have been struggles. Look, the card struggle is coming out. So we know you've struggled in your life. And it's still an uphill battle here for you. But that will not remain with you. There will be changes in regards to prosperity here. Because what's happening with you, it's the past, the present and the future. Well, they're all linked. And unfortunately, you've had lots of issues in your past lives here in the life that you're presently in as well, which have laid the foundations for your future. And that's where we want to alter these old structures to lay better foundations for your future when we go to the meditation here at the end. Yes, there are... Um, you do connect to symbols a lot. You benefit a lot from bringing in Reiki symbols, your own symbols, connecting to symbols will clear energy. Symbols are powerful creators of your own sacred space. And if you are familiar with symbols, then by all means keep using them. If you're new to all of this, I will introduce you to a symbol today that you can draw into your energy field a little bit later here. Let's see, Spirit still wants to talk to group number two. Okay, this one came in upside down. It's all about reunion of souls. 
it feels like that you have to bring in your soul family you have to find people that you connect with on a deeper level who are going to be there for you instead of maybe people like this healer that has caused a lot of drama in your life so your soul craves for this reunion and through healings this will happen you will find your true soul family that can also guide you along your path to prosperity maybe you're connecting with other people in the future that will join you or you will partner up with others and that means prosperity maybe this person is already with you maybe it's your partner maybe it's a relative and you're working with this person but before you can experience true prosperity you need to get rid of what is blocking it here you need to honor your energy honoring your energy means that you need to work on yourself first of all to clear things so that you are ready to manifest you're ready for the new opportunities because you won't be afraid of taking them there's going to be a lot of emotional release from the past life that I'm going to tap into for you and the way that you release it from yourself in your own private meditation will then help you. You might feel very sad during that um, meditation and if you do take that as a positive because you're releasing penned up emotional energy that connects you to the issues from the past as well as your present reality here let's see are there any more cards no we are now going to go into your past or parallel life and find out what happened to you before we go into that the reiki symbol halu or halu is very good for you this symbol needs to be placed in front of you that's what they're showing me my guides are showing me that you see you visualize this symbol or you draw it in front of you and then you connect to this symbol um, with various parts of your body or your energy field i can see some that will focus more on the head area here others who will draw it into the center of their body and so on you might use it into in various chakra systems but you will all work with it differently none of you are the same in issues that you're facing the trauma that you've experienced so working with this symbol comes back to your intuition and this is where i want to teach you really to believe in yourself to learn energy work at a deeper level the way you do it is to trust what you see what you feel maybe what you hear and see the symbol connecting with you that way because that will bring powerful energetic shifts now we would like to tap into a life for you let's see let's travel there's a pathway and a door the sixth key opens this door before i reveal to you what's behind here protect your energy before you do this meditation create a sacred space around you ground your energy and invite in spiritual guides of light love and truth let's find out what lies behind this door i can see you i see a garbage dump here and i can see you looking for things you're not poor though you're not we're not a somebody who relies on that for their income but you love what i would call dumpster diving you love going in there and you love connecting or collecting and this is this is interesting i'm saying connecting because the things you collect here and that you then sell some of them have very bad energy one of them is this lamp it reminds me of a genie in the lamp 
and you take this lamp home. But ever since you take it home and you work with it, you clear it, things are going wrong in your life. You know that something isn't right. You know that intuitively you need to get rid of this lamp you can see that there is negative energy here and you you love it though you love the lamp you know this can give you quite a bit of money so there are blockages arising there's so much happening here and i'm going to explain this to you what's happening is you're connecting with an energy this healer who's draining you taking from you destructive forces are coming into your life the money you get for that lamp is unclean it's dirty money it's not going to bring good energy yes now you're able to buy things the lamp gave you prosperity but the lamp also gave you illness within a very short time you become seriously ill and pass away within a month now let me explain to you what happened is the genie of that lamp or the negative energy the entity which is relating to that healer has now claimed your soul you passed away but your soul was infected with this energy that also um, shows me that um, by you selling it that you've been um, restricted as far as your prosperity is concerned you've now created huge blockages and they're showing me the lamp is not the only thing there's a feminine energy there's a masculine energy there's so many energies both feminine masculine energies that are coming in and collecting pieces of your soul parts of you that they now seem to have a claim over they're saying look you know i'm going to bring you back into one life where you're going to serve me i'm going to bring you back into another life where you're going to take the blame for me this sort of thing has happened to you that's why you're stuck that's why all these energies are clinging to you and i am I am feeling so happy that this is being revealed to you right now because this will make a big big change in your life if you keep working with this meditation you may have to revisit this meditation many times because it may not just be one thing here that you need to release and during one session of you doing this meditation you may not be able to release everything from you so revisit it go back and what we're doing now because my spirit guides are showing me that you are to see yourself in your home in this past life your home is filled with objects now you're going to take all of these objects one at a time and you're going to return them to the dump they need to remain there they were placed there for a reason they don't need to be discovered they need to be destroyed you will take the object and you will claim back your power you will say that you do not allow these negative entities to attach themselves to you the, your soul part will come back to you you will see some kind of new energy coming back to you the old will leave and you will take this object back to the dump no more dumpster diving for you you need to then see once you're satisfied that every object is gone maybe you're doing this meditation for a few weeks and then you close the dump you close everything up you see everything destroyed you have then successfully released yourself from all these energies for some of you it might just be one for others it could be many it just depends on you your intuition when you are satisfied that you have done all you could in one meditation you find that door again you close the door behind you see a yellow ray of light washing over that and into your solar plexus at this point please draw the symbol halo back into 
your energy field. Some call it Halu. It is up to you how you connect with it. See what part of this symbol connects with you, where you have to place it specifically. Then express gratitude to your guides. Send your guides away from this healing. Release them. Come back to where you are. Return to yourself. Express more gratitude and leave the meditation. Return to it like we've said many times if you feel drawn to it. Perhaps some of you, like we said, once will make big changes in your life. Make sure if it's only once you cover that area, the dump where you've placed everything back over with the dirt. Very important because it needs to be covered and destroyed. Some of you, you might decide to cover objects as you go along, but others you will not choose to do that because you would want to collect them all and then destroy them powerfully all at once with specific energy. This is up to you. I'm just feeling some of your energy here and it's very different for each and every one. Some of you are new, others are much more experienced. Work with what resonates with you. I'm sending you lots of love and blessings from Australia. Bye. Welcome group number three, clearing the path to true prosperity. Let's see how we can do that for this group here. There will be new beginnings for you. The first card coming out is all about new beginnings. So let's see where these new beginnings lie. What, what are these new beginnings here? The new beginnings are freedom. This group here, you're the group that will make the biggest changes here on this planet. You're not going to do things half-hearted. You're going to go for it because if you haven't done that, if you're still feeling stagnant and not exploring new areas of advancement in regards to your true prosperity, that's that's something to consider. If you're holding back because of fear, please don't do that because you are meant to make huge changes. Of course, this can be a bit daunting because this particular group, you um, there would be a lot of obstacles perhaps in your way, but you have been placed here to show the world how it is done and what you can do. So, wow, this is a very, very big group. Let's see, what is this all about here? You have many guides that are protecting you. Archangel Michael is coming out and he's one of your guides. He's protecting you with his blue light, his sword and his shield. And you can trust him, you can confide in him, you can ask him to clear your path. Yes, you are great manifestors here, but your path is a little bit restricted. I don't see these manifestations coming in the way that you want them to. Let's learn a little bit more about that. Why aren't they coming in the way that you want them to? You're embracing a healing journey, but this is not just for you. You're doing this with other members of your family, other people. You are still on this journey. The journey isn't complete yet. Once the journey co is complete, and that doesn't mean we have to be completely healed, but we got to complete a large portion of that journey and show an openness and willingness to do so. Let's switch the cards here. Let's learn more about your healing journey here. You, you are a very blessed group in a certain sense because yes, you're going to be pushed to perhaps your limits, but once you 
and come out of that comfort zone and you go for it, you are going to find your true prosperity. Once again, oh, there's another card amongst this. We're going to look at this in a minute. Um, this is being guarded, a guardian here. Maybe you own a cat and this cat is your guardian. The cat is helping you to take the next step. If this cat has come into your life and shortly after the arrival, things have started changing, it's a good indication. This is one of your more profound guides who is going to help you find your true prosperity here. Yes, releasing you from burdens. This card is talking about burdens that we carry, but the guides around you, particularly this cat, is going to help you release yourself from any of those burdens in your life. Dedication. Once again, this card here shows me that you need to be very dedicated to your path. You need to not give up when things get tough. We've already seen that. This whole energy around you is not to give up. So let's find out what that entails, perhaps, for you. When things get tough, intensify your efforts. It's not taking a step back, but it's intensification here. Looking at things differently, rewriting something. You, This is all about a spell, but the card to me says you need to rewrite something. Rewrite the structures of how you're doing things. Don't be afraid to do it differently because you got to lay a good foundation. Make mistakes, learn from them, alter structures, go for it again. Never give up. This group, you got what it takes and I do feel for you because I also feel my life is a little bit like this and we need to keep on channeling good energy into our life, intensifying when we feel that there is some kind of downturn perhaps in our path, in our way where we're not finding the solution straight away. But intensify your efforts do what you can because you are meant to open up prosperity here tap into your masculine energy more call on guides here maybe gods that you call on to support you along your journey open look you you have a total rebirth in your life at one stage in your life you are going to go through the dark night of the soul if you haven't already where you're purging you're releasing everything you feel like my life is falling apart i don't know where to live how to survive this is you this is that deep dark energy where you're just going to turn it all around and you're going to say yes i have made it and this is what this death is all about as soon as i touch the cart i see you not giving up, rising from the ashes, beating all sorts of illnesses, beating all sorts of restrictions and finding your way out. I don't even know why you're here. This reading, you this is fantastic. I think you, you're probably here just for some very minor adjustments because they're, they're talking about a little bit of a shadow side surfacing and this shadow side we want to look at now we want to address we want to see um yes this can be healed the witch is coming out so healing for this shadow part is possible because sometimes healing is not always possible and why do I say that? Because I'm a healer <laughs> and I should really be saying, yes, we can heal this, that and the other. But healing is not always possible because some things are there to be lessons in some, uh, some way. The, the way to look at it is, let's say, if you're missing um, a body part, if you're missing an arm, you're missing a leg, 
no energetic healer can regrow that leg for you or the arm. But what the energy healer can do is to help you find ways, discover things that you have never been able to tap into so that you can live with that disability but thrive. You're not just surviving, you're thriving. That is part of um, some issues that we sometimes hyper focus on because we can't fully change them, but we can work around it. And that issue doesn't become so real to us anymore. In fact, eventually it fades into the background because now we're producing something new. And that is um, why the cards are saying for you here, this particular shadow aspect can be healed. And that's what we're going to tap in a little bit later in our reading. For this to be healed, it will take some effort, some rituals, some connections perhaps to your own healing powers, maybe that of others who assist you during the process of the shadow energy. So once again, we're looking at this intensity, intensifying the effort, knowing that you can go through this. Maybe your life has showed that to you, that you've had these, these situations where you've come out and you shouldn't have. Maybe you have had illnesses where you shouldn't have survived or where you've been placed in dangers that you shouldn't have survived but you're here you're listening to this and this is where prosperity is eventually going to open up for you true prosperity here this also involves the union with somebody maybe a partner here for you maybe somebody in your family this is a bond a union you're not doing this alone we've already seen this i really love this group certain groups are really attach my energy to and i can feel the vibrations of this group because i think it's um it's from a reminder here of my life. And for you, this is connecting with others, bringing in this new energy of union of maybe it's only one person, maybe it's more for you. But you finally found your tribe, you found your coven, if you like, and you are going to work within that environment and the shadow self will start healing itself. You will intensify things. So let's switch the cards here. What else is there for group number three? What do we need to be aware of? We've looked at the shadow side. Yes, spirit wants to talk more about the shadow aspect here. The owl is coming out and omens. But... I know you need to know more about the shadow side. Let's work on that. The shadow side is high, highly affected um, by self-love. So the heart chakra in your case has been damaged and quite severely damaged. So self-love will restore the heart chakra because self-love will also lead you into further psychic developments. Don't underestimate the power of self-love in healing shadow aspects here. What else is there in regards to the shadow? Growth. There is some growth happening, but I know the shadow restricts the growth as well. I see the dark leaf in front of the brown leaf, and to me, that says the shadow is restricting the growth. So how can you alter that? There will be um, new days coming. So what you're stuck in right now is not where you're going to remain. And I have also seen many people that have come to see me and including myself. I've worked on this for myself where I honestly, I have to admit, even as a healer, I thought, no, I'll never get out of this. I've worked on this for so long 
and it took me once it took me four years of determination intensifying and then at the end a massive intensified energy and everything changed something opened that i had never thought possible and this is you you are not to give up new days are coming your whole life is going to turn around this is big 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 stuff here for you guys group number three um, it's the way you're looking at things too. Sometimes we feel things are worse than they actually are. But if we changed our way of thinking and took action, perhaps in a different direction, then everything would align itself. Despite the fact that you have experienced these, these intense energies in your life, you are heading in the right direction and prosperity is part of your birthright your prosperity we don't want to connect to prosperity and greed at the same time this world is full of greed instead of us wanting what we need and what we need to be happy with there's people that want more and more and more and they'll then end up some of them end up having so much that it's overwhelming and it's unnecessary but we want to be happy we want to feel prosperous we want to feel wealthy in our life according to our soul's desire but leaving behind any connection to greed let's see you might have people in your life that may be promoting that i'm not saying that you are this greedy person but i feel you have energies around you that want more and more and more they want you to have more and more so that maybe they can benefit from that if that is you so be careful of that energy and move it away from you you will be prosperous and it will make your soul happy you also need to remember that despite intensified efforts playful energy is there as well you you need to balance yourself between playful energy and intensifying efforts so some days you will be putting in a lot of of effort here and you're doing a lot of stuff during the day and you're exhausted even but then you will balance this out with more playful energy and i think there's just an ambulance or police going past here so another indication that truly you are going through these ups and downs and um, don't worry you will not be um, affected by this noise here it's not a bad omen not a bad sign for you but it's just showing you that you have truly faced some incredible stuff in your life and you've come out victorious please connect to nature this group you are the nature group you benefit a lot from mother earth hugging a tree spending time on the beach wherever you live whatever is possible in your area that relates to nature gardening here buying new pot plants anything like that is going to benefit you as well as that spirit is encouraging you to listen to calming music opening up your heart chakra through maybe certain meditation music sounds vibrations whatever you prefer whatever you listen to make sure it is something that will benefit your healing process now i can't feel any more cards for you this is the time where we're going to move on to a symbol for you your symbol is shanti you are to connect to this symbol by visualizing it in front of you drawing it in front of you and for you i'm going to teach you a healing method with this particular symbol 
that can be really helpful for you it needs to go internal so what I'm seeing is that you're visualizing this symbol, you're drawing it, and then you're breathing it in through your mouth, inside, particularly down your throat, past your throat chakra, and let it expand through your system. That's one way of working with this symbol. My guides give me different instructions with different symbols. Of course, you might, you might connect to it, in your own way but please try this method of absorbing it into your system and cleansing clearing and renewing yourself basically from the inside out let's tap into a past or parallel life that will also assist you here on your journey Let's let's see what's happening there. There's a pathway and please protect your energy before you do any meditation and create a sacred space. It is recommended here by my guides that you don't follow along with me. You just take the information that I give you here and then you create this quiet space around you and you really feel the energy of this life and then release it from you. Let's tap in. The third key opens this door. I can see you at a very majestic ball. I can see people there dancing and they're wearing these really big dresses. You are the main um, person here. You are the star the star of the ball here basically because you're walking in in my vision i see you walking in and you look magnificent i mean there it's it's amazing the your female the dress you're wearing is breathtaking your hair is just amazing the makeup in that time you you look beautiful but one thing that is not right is that all this recognition, all this glory, all this attention is very unhealthy for you in that life. You can't breathe. I feel like I need to take a deep breath. I can't breathe here because you're being forced into this dress to make you look a certain way. And you feel there is some... Um, discomfort in on your hair or on your scalp and there is um, something not right with your face your eyes and you keep blinking and even though you look so nice you feel horrible and you all you wish was for, for the ball to be over you just want to take everything off and you want to go for a swim i see a lake near your house and you just feel like taking this stuff off your in your underwear which looks very interesting underwear these big bloomers here these this weird shirt you got on so well whatever time frame you're in i can see you just stripping off and you're going for a swim afterwards this is really late and everybody's freaking out they're all going where is she where is she oh my god this is terrible and they're telling you off for acting inappropriately they're saying you should never be seen like this. This is a shame. If anybody sees you, this is terrible. And you don't understand it. You don't understand life at that time. You have everything you could possibly desire as far as material things are concerned. But you don't have freedom of soul. This is an issue that is a reflection of a shadow aspect here somewhere along the line I'm not going to tap into it too much deeper because I don't want to take up all your time here with that shadow site but it relates to it I think a life they're just giving me some information here I think a life that where you were very poor you made this wish that you felt that only the rich would be happy and that if anybody said that this wasn't true you didn't believe it you said the rich have got it made in this life i want to be that way well this really um 
backfired for you because you were placed in such a heavy wealthy energy but a restrictive energy that this wasn't right so you had these two extremes can you see where these extremes come from so this is where we need to find a balance and this is where you come in let's wipe this let's see that light just washes over both aspects of the poverty mindset and this rich luxurious way of living but restrictive let's wipe it all clear it bring in light bring in energy draw in that symbol again here and absorb the symbol light up the inside and then create you're the creator now you're here you're ready to create bring in a life that is making you happy and there's so much going on outside here during this reading i think my neighbor is literally just um mowing the lawn or cutting down some poor tree out there and i can hear the wood chopper so i'm hoping it's not too disturbing but that that's you this is this energy up and down and calm and loud and and that's where we want to work on when you visualize your new life please make it very balanced see yourself happy whatever you bring in bring in re and look it's just getting worse i'm gonna finish this reading off here please reevaluate everything and when you're happy with it go back to the door shut the door see a pink ray of light washing over that and breathe it into your body lots of internal work here for you you then thank your guides for this healing and release them from it travel back to where you are and become aware again of your body of your surroundings because when we do these healings it is important to notice or know that we are traveling we are traveling into different dimensional fields and we need to return to our being our vessel here and see the the noise has now completely stopped so there must be lots of clearings that need to be done for you group number three you're doing really well unfortunately you've had a very turbulent life and it seems like that it will go like that for you but if you intensify things you will also by you are intensifying things calm things and prosperity true prosperity will find its way to you Lots of love from Australia. Bye. Welcome group number four. Let's see what we can find out about true prosperity, clearing your path to true prosperity. What's, what's happening here? okay for you there is something being set up to already clear this something is being organized and set up let's find out what this is all about because uh, on the altar i can see that things are being prepared for you magic wow believe in magic so this is all about it being um brought in that maybe you're using magic to bring it in but true prosperity is heading towards you if it hasn't already hit oh no it hasn't hit so there needs to be some clearance you've set things in motion seems like you guys have put out intentions maybe you've done spell works you've had healings done on it and everything is being aligned but you got to clear something away it feels like you need a spring clean here and for those of you who live in the northern hemisphere you are going to be celebrating ostara this is a celebration of growth this is spring coming in and we have if you've listened to the introduction we are offering some healings here 
for that period of time so this is something you don't have to by the way you don't have to connect to that to find your true prosperity but if you want some additional help please check that out on our website but for you there is some kind of clearance let's find out what you can do to clear this away we're going to switch the cards here what can group number four do to clear the path to true prosperity here working with your guides particularly Archangel Michael is here and it's important for you to allow him to come into your field to protect you with his light with his blue light his sword and his shield that might be something if you haven't worked with this particular angel it is important that you connect with this energy and find extra protection for yourself here your path is one that leads you to freedom and this is a very important card because it leads to freedom and seeing that we're talking about prosperity and freedom we sometimes can get so entangled in prosperity that it doesn't free our soul that it actually entangles our soul more whatever this means to you these two um, energetic fields have to be in alignment the energy field of freedom and release from all this energy that is negatively based on the planet in regards to prosperity and a form of prosperity that will allow you to experience this type of freedom so the alignment between prosperity and freedom needs to be in place and some of you i can hear you saying well if i have prosperity freedom is guaranteed it isn't that's a misconception because prosperity doesn't mean your freedom or not necessarily mean your freedom depending on the type of prosperity we're talking about that doesn't mean that this is you but this is just a point that spirit brings out make sure that when you get that prosperity you will keep your freedom as well or it will add to your freedom and not take it away because we have the card of new beginnings coming in for you i feel very much this group you're the creator of these new beginnings when it comes to prosperity let's oh this card wanted to come out okay you've prayed many of you have prayed and that is very important this prayer has been heard so there are energies such as archangel michael who wants to come in and support you to help you with this healing this is all about um, finding your unique path this is enchantment but i see that as this horse as you you are out in nature you're in a particular area really enjoying the peace around you the freedom the horse is not restricted in any way it's free and that's what your soul wants too whatever this means which is um, I should say unicorn really but um, the horse stands out a lot of you your spirit guide your spirit animal I should say is the horse because as soon as I picked up that card I could feel that energy around you some of you might be really connected to unicorns as well but the horse is there's a particular meaning um, in regards to the horse here in your lifetime you can expect a miracle to happen nothing short of a miracle is what's coming in and that is part of your journey when it comes to prosperity so that means your prosperity might come in un unexpected it might come in perhaps through an inheritance through some other source 
where you will use that type of prosperity then to advance yourself further to lead your soul to freedom here let's find out a little bit more let's switch the cards here group number four in regards to prosperity what is happening here honor your energy what are you doing that is not honoring your energy because if we have bad habits in this life they can hinder our soul's freedom and prosperity if we um, these habits can be literally anything at all the things we eat the things that we surround ourselves with with the things we listen to the music the type of music whom we associate with all that can be either upbuilding and lead to freedom and prosperity or it can be something that will really drag our energy down and we're not in alignment then with prosperity if we don't honor ourselves so let's find out a little bit more view each day as making a little bit of progress this is what's coming out in this card it's talking about a new day and when i pick up this card it feels like a new day something new is happening something good is happening and you made a little bit of progress doesn't have to be these huge big jumps you actually your energy feels more consistent with moving forwards these are small changes that lead to the big picture and working on little things like habits that are holding you back can be very beneficial in getting there faster make sure that when you have some quiet time when you retreat it is something beneficial for you and not putting you in a negative environment the card burden is coming out and it's in harmony with retreat it feels like you're burdening some of you this might not be all please don't don't think that all of you are doing the wrong thing here but some of you you might recognize certain habits certain cycles you get stuck in where when you relax you're actually adding a burden to your soul i leave this up to you because everyone will know what i'm talking about and as i said this may not be you it might not affect you at all just take away what resonates this this goes deeper because this can also relate to when you do meditations oftentimes we do meditations to clear our energy meditations to help us relax this is asking you to do a meditation of forgiveness when we have people in our life that have hurt us on a very deep soul level and this hurt is so deep that we we just don't want to forgive them there is the the aspect of forgiving doesn't mean that we tolerate what they've done to us we don't um, want to sit in anger and sit in pain though by holding on to things that we could release our souls from forgiving is part of the journey there is a particular practice that was given to me by spirit and very early on when i started my healing journey they showed me a room this room was filled with light there were two seats in the room one on one end and one on the other i was sitting on in one of those seats and then they said to me invite in the person that you don't want to forgive and i thought wow it's probably many at the beginning of my journey i felt like really i just want to kill them all i don't want to forgive them and this is what you need to look at as well invite in this person 
And Spirit said to me, first of all, we want you to release the anger. We want you to let it out. We want you to scream it out even. Let the person know how you feel, but do not touch the person. Don't become violent. Just express your anger. For others, it might be tears. You might express your sadness. Let it all out. Let the person hear and see what you feel. Because in this room, they said to me, it's not like in your physical reality where the person won't hear it. The soul of the person you called into this particular room with the light in it, they said, that soul will hear you on a deeper level. And after you express your pain or sadness, you then let them know that you forgive them, but you wish never to connect with them again in this lifetime and in any future lives. You release yourself from their energy, from any space, time and reality, and then you send them away. You simply close the door behind them and you fill the room with more light, particularly the space that they sat in, that area, that seat that they occupied, clear it all with light, replace the seat if you like. The next thing that they told me was that you can also, if you wish the person, um, if it's not quite such a heavy energy and you wish the person to be healed, but you need to express your wounds, you can do the same. But instead of sending the person away and asking for them to be cleared from all space, time and reality, this time you will embrace the person, you will hug the person and take them with you out the front door where you came in. This is a totally different concept and you're still connected with the person, but you expressed forgiveness and you promoted healing for both yourself and that person. Be careful. Some people who are very dark souls, you do not want to be connected with them. You will know deep inside. You will know you need to send them away. This healing practice is very good in releasing yourself from this heavy energy of perhaps non-forgiveness. You are allowing yourself to let go for the first time, perhaps. Let's learn a little bit more because this is all part of your journey to prosperity. We sometimes think that we can just do some rituals, some spell work, and it will just bring in tons of money. Yet yeah, to certain spells, I do them as well, um, they will bring in a certain amount of money, but we are here linking to true prosperity. We're not talking about these occasional bits of money that come in. We want to open our energy field to something that is long lasting. For that to happen, we need to be in alignment with it. And if there are blockages along our path, it affects every area of life. So addressing this can be the key, the turn turnaround here for you to true prosperity. Some of you also, you clear your energy through movement. Lots of energy works coming out for group number four. You either are a very awakened soul or you will be in the future. This is about you moving your body, some kind of dance, some kind of movement. This could be a um, yoga practice, for example. It could be um, qigong. It could be any other practice. It's movement. This movement is more than just physical movement. It's clearing. The way you move, the way you do things, it clears energy. Maybe you have a practice of just simply moving your hands or um, maybe even your whole body to move energy and you'd be thinking, why am I doing this? It seems so weird, but it's not. It is clearing. Use it because that is important for you. You have also an inner journey that needs to be addressed. This inner journey, we want to find out a little bit more before we go to the healing part of this reading. 
let's see we're switching the cards now this is all about your inner journey the inner journey here needs to be explored further you will need to call in your guides here as a support system for this inner journey there are many many blessings waiting for you in the near future and these blessings will be used to put energy into the far future along your path so these blessings whatever you are you are getting i'm also seeing that you're giving you are a very giving person through this giving you will help not yourself alone but many other people however this relates to your current situation now i can't feel any more cards here blessings are on the way there is a symbol here for you it is called shika so this symbol you are encouraged to draw this symbol into your energy field to visualize it to with you spirit always gives me particular instructions here as to how you can work with it and what they are showing me is that you first of all visualize the symbol or you draw it in front of you then you take the symbol you encase it in a bubble or you form a bubble with this symbol use either one of those practices once you see this ball you then decide where to place that energy where is it needed within your maybe your inner journey your physical body your outer layers anywhere that you see this symbol needs to go that's the right spot this is energy healing this is you learning how to work with these symbols with me if i was to work with it at this particular point my throat chakra is getting dry and i have because i've been speaking a lot here so i would place it inside that throat chakra and feel some relief you might place it somewhere different using this symbol you can use it in various different ways but this is one of the ways that will be beneficial for group number four use the symbol as often as you see fit as often as you're drawn to using it because you are all about opening prosperity here and the symbol can help you along the your healing journey what can also help you is this past life that we are going to tap into now before you do meditations we always recommend grounding your energy protecting your energy connecting to light and love beings only and to make sure that after you finish you cleanse your energy cleansing can be done for example through sunlight you can visualize the violet flame the violet fire around you you can simply take a shower with the intention of washing away anything that is attached that doesn't serve you anything you couldn't fully let go of just to remove residual energy here but for now let's travel let's see what happened to you here in this past life there is a door the third key also opens this for you the third key representing an energy field a dimensional field here let's walk in and see what happened to you here this life took place in africa you are connected to the giraffe so <laughs> wow this is very very specific you'll have to let me know how this resonates with you because i can see you here that you have um, not many human friends your connection is with the giraffe right from birth your family worked with that animal they were very good at um, 
preserving preservation of um, life here is coming out they had a center where not just the giraffe but other animals um, were healed were helped and were released the reason why you're so connected to the giraffe is because a baby giraffe was brought there and you had a lot to do with um, looking after this particular animal and you formed a very strong bond you had a lot of people um, in your early years that were they were big bullies in your life I can see friends I can see older people teachers they seem to just love to push you around to bully you well this this sort of um, experience left you scarred and you said to your parents that all you really needed were the animals and at that time your parents actually agreed because they loved animals as well and they found a lot more comfort being around animals than people but you took it to an extreme because it seems to have passed through generations here generational links to this and with you it became all encompassing now to cut a long story short what i see is that this little giraffe um it grew for a couple of years and then something happened and it died and you were devastated you felt like it was your fault that you didn't nurture it enough and then you felt lost because you felt lonely and you tried connecting with other animals but you could never regain that feeling that you had when you were around this particular animal now that left you feeling feeling empty even though you had much a lot of activity around you here you didn't feel fulfilled in life you felt that at one stage everyone would leave you or they would bully you something negative would happen and that's how you walked through life at that particular time everything you did was um, a lot of it not everything but a lot of it was fear-based and you used to always think and say to yourself well if i think the worst then if anything better happens i'm going to be happy so that's a guarantee for happiness so if i think real terrible things here then if it's slightly better i'm still guaranteed of happiness but if i think real positive and something bad happens then that's it i feel devastated and my whole cycle of what's happened to me when i was younger and the loss of this beautiful giraffe um it, it will hurt me like that again so that's how you lived your life but what you didn't realize in that life is that you brought a lot of that energy with you thinking a way um, that would actually damage your future rather than build it up into prosperity we want to change this go back to the time where people and your friends here well they weren't real friends but so-called friends started to bully you don't allow this to continue however you see this is perfectly fine but stop it and form new friendships see that everything will work in your favor with these new friends and if you have any friends that you feel a little bit like mm, i'm not sure about them send them away in this life see them being there somewhere and just send them away after that you will also see that you will rescue this beautiful little giraffe and return it to the wild successfully forming a connection but also being able to let go of it this is where you can then start bringing in different things that you want to experience in life this is up to you how you create new things for you you're manifesting your prosperity here this is how you can alter the structure of um, devastation basically in your life after you've finished creating a happy life 
I want you to leave this door open and see a green and blue ray of light washing over that and into your crown chakra. Really absorb that ray of light. You can then also use that structure of the symbol again and form it into this ball. Place the ball, the energy of this ball, somewhere that you get drawn to, that you intuitively connect to. Take this ball and place it within your energy field, wherever it needs to go. That's when you thank your guides for the healing. You release them from it and you return back into your vessel, your body, and you express gratitude here. Great amounts of gratitude for the healing will lead into more prosperity. Group number four, I wish you all the best and send you lots of love from Australia. Bye.